Alright, it's Devlog Thursday. It's been quite a while since the last one, because I've been really busy. I'm back in college now, so I don't have nearly as much free time. I've been working on one kind of big project that I've put on hold because... Well, I might explain it in a different video, but in this video, I'm talking about my newest project that I'm now fully committed to, and it's called Mechabox. Now, um, if you've ever heard of Erector Set, it's basically based on that. But if you haven't, I guess I could try to explain it. Um, it's like a little like toy construction set where you've got metal parts with holes in them, and you can, you can connect them together with like screws and uh, axles and stuff. And there's wheels and gears and other things, and there's sets where you make like a car and like an airplane and stuff like that. But I'll just go ahead and show you. So there's not a lot to see right now except for one single button that is going to be part of a much larger toolbar in the future. And it just says frame. And I can click on that and I get a little plus and a little blue thing. That's a filter icon. I'll explain that in a minute. And this is the add frame button. So if I click on that I get taken to this thing called the frame builder. And there's this little 3D interface over here, this little place to put in dimensions. And it just looks like a white cube right now. It doesn't look like much of anything, but we'll go ahead and give it some dimensions. 3 by 1 by 5 is what I've been using. And I can click on these faces to add in faces. <laughs> yeah, um, so maybe now this kind of gives you an idea of what I was talking about. It's a little metal piece that's got holes in it where you put screws and stuff in. And yeah, you just click on a face to add something, or if it's already there, you can click on it again to remove it. And not all configurations are valid, and really the only ones that aren't valid are ones where um, two faces aren't connected. I mean, if there's more than three, then they have to be connected. So two faces is the only situation in which there could be faces that aren't connected. And this is the only of the two possible configurations. See? So yeah, let's go back to that part that I wanted to make. And I can click Create. And it puts it in a little list here. And that's what this is. It's a little list. Now, again, I don't have enough to be able to show off what the filter does yet. So I'll go ahead and place this in the world. Now, here it is over here. I can hold right-click and use W, A, S, D, Q, and E to move around. Um, Q and E move you up and down and I can hold shift to speed up. And I'm going to get to this vantage point and I'm going to click and add another frame. Now instead of just going straight to the origin, I have an option as to where I want to place it. You can see that um, it lines up a particular hole on the frame with a hole that I'm aiming at. And if I hold shift and use W, A, S, and D, I can actually no, hold shift Hmm, that's weird. Oh, it is working. Okay, I just got my directions a little bit confused. Okay. So yeah, holding shift... <coughs> sorry. I can move the anchor point around on the frame that I'm holding. I can even move it to spots that aren't necessarily filled in, which might be useful in certain scenarios. But, um, okay. If I move it over here... Okay, yeah, now these controls make a little bit more sense. W, I know, I mean, A and D are doing what you're seeing right now, moving left and right, and W and S are moving up and down. So from this vantage point, what I would expect is that W would move it forward and that um, A and D would move it up and down. But that's not what I'm seeing, so I'll have to look into that. But anyway, another thing I can do is I can rotate the frame with the arrow or not the arrow keys, with the WASD keys and Q and E if I'm not holding shift. And it uses like whichever direction you're looking and A and D is rolling it and W and S is, I, is that pitch? I don't remember like the difference between pitch and yaw. I think pitch is this way and yaw is this way. This is Q and E that's doing that. That's W and S and that's A and D. So you can see that um, when the faces oppose, then it's a valid configuration. And I can go ahead and place this here. Now I have this. It's pretty useless since there aren't screws yet. 
but I can still make new frames. So let's go ahead and clear this out of all the faces and let's, let's change the shape. You don't have to clear out all the faces to change the shape. I was just doing that just to do that. And if you're wondering about the size restrictions, um, I mean, if you're using like small numbers that are in the single digits, you know, there aren't really any restrictions that you're going to encounter. But as you get bigger, the restrictions are actually based on how many like holes make up the frame and what the real technical limitation behind that is the size of the geometry or the amount of geometry that is needed to render it like for example i can make it one by one by 227 if i wanted to but i can't make it one by two by 227 there's a special number i think it's like 900 it's 900 and something that all the numbers uh, multiplied that's the biggest it can be, right? Yeah, so I think, yeah, 12 by 12 by 12 is the biggest... Oh, I have to zoom out. Um, yeah, that's the biggest cube you can make. But anyway, I just want to make something that's 2 by 2 by 1. I'll zoom back into that, and I'll just make, I'll just make a little L frame. And now we can see that my list has two things in it. Now it's time to show you what the filter does. I can either sort this list by various factors, like newest, most used. Most used doesn't actually do anything useful yet. And biggest and smallest. It's currently technically already sorted by biggest. So I can sort it by smallest. And we can see that the L comes up first. Let's go back to just the default. And I can also filter out different types of frames. Like, that's a C frame and that's an L frame. So if I only wanted to see, like, L frames, I could do that. If I wanted to only see... L and C frames, I could do that, or I could just um, see all frames. So let's put an L frame in, and let's rotate it. That's the wrong direction. There we go. So I don't know. Let's put one here and just another one here. Now, I mean, it's kind of like a sofa, I guess. I mean, it's a weird sofa, but you can use your imagination. And also, if you were to actually try and, like, put any weight on any of the pieces, they'd probably tip over and fall off, because, again, you know, there's nothing holding them together. That is not implemented yet. Uh, like I said, I haven't been able to get as much as I would like to have done in the almost two weeks that I've been working on it. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Um, I don't know... I mean, ideally, I'd like to be able to get this to be back to a weekly series, but maybe bi-weekly. I think I'd be happy if it's just bi-weekly. And anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, and bye.